Oh my god, I just walked by the karate place and they're letting the kids wear their Halloween costumes. I just saw Kylo Ren get his ass kicked by a taco. It is Kylo Ren, so that does sound about right. It's pretty on brand for him to get his ass kicked. And when I kill you, I will kill the last Jedi! Uh. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to MK. I'm your host, Robin, and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash brand new sentence, where the sentences have never been said before. Well, most likely. I guess we'll be the judges of that now, won't we? Let's get right in there. If cat not enjoy being held, why baby-sized? Yeah, that's a fair question. They are perfectly baby-sized. I'm afraid you're going to have to ask God about that one, because I don't know the answer. We need to normalize bisexual, introverted, leftist, former gifted children with depression who drink iced coffee and sleep till noon. Hey, um, shut up. How about that, okay? I don't need to be called out almost every video, okay? I once told my students to put their heads down and I'd count votes for either Extra Recess or a Bill Nye episode. Nobody voted for the video, but it was winter and I didn't want to go outside, so I told them Bill Nye won, and that's basically elections here in America. <laughs> oh, He looks like he's suppressing the urge to blink horizontally. That man is always suppressing that urge. I've seen him do it once. It's not as scary as you think, though, because we all know what he is. Also, how can you be worth billions and billions of dollars and still have a haircut like that? Nothing like a close call slip in the shower to remind you that you're just a Jenga tower of blood. Well, and bone and meat, mainly meat, we drink boba tea to satisfy our ancient and innate urge to slurp up tadpoles from a puddle through a reed. No, we absolutely do not. When you've successfully dodged all of the creepy dudes trying to sell you moisturizer at mall kiosks, this is the final lotion boss you must face. I think I could take him. Dude looks like a truck stop gas station all over the place. When we met, my boyfriend just wasn't a cat person. We're out of wet food and he's currently cooking fish so the boys can still have a good dinner. As though they're loyal patrons of a restaurant, he cannot disappoint and not too many hell panthers that poop in a box and yell at us. Well, he's right though. My balls are Discord certified. No, they are not. Discord has certified your balls. Nice balls, yeah, we'll certify them. Never question me. How can I get certified? When someone tells me they're a Christian, I ask, classic Jesus or Republican Jesus? That's a good question to ask because they're very freaking different. Here's how they raised millennial kids. Go to college, 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 go to college. Uh, why'd you go to college if you wanted electricity and a roof? You kids are overeducated and over gay. Stupid libtards. This lady gave me her food order. I repeated it back and told her that that comes to $6.66. She said, oh no, I don't like that total. Better throw in a corn dog. Surely this woman is an inspiration. She's out here fighting off the powers of Satan with a corn dog as her weapon of choice. It's probably more useful than you're giving it credit. I mean, hell, I still don't understand why vampires can't stand garlic. And here we are, fighting off demons with corn dogs. You don't know. Is it just me? Or does the frame rate get higher when you step inside a Costco? It's because everything comes in bulk there and Costco has really good object instancing. So it only has to construct the VBO for each kind of product once and then reshade it for individual instances. Which gets you a big frame rate improvement over the parking lot where one million unique cars are in view at any given time. I don't understand this and I do at the same time. Happy two year anniversary. Here's to us looking more alike with each passing year until we're a single beast with four arms and four legs that runs at a top speed of 50 miles per hour and screams like a bab at nearby travelers trespassing into our woods. To many more! Emergency hot dog that heats up when you crack it like a glow stick. Okay, this guy might actually be on to the greatest invention since fire, all right? People with no kids who turn y'all lights off and hand y'all the remote. I tell Google to turn the lights off and my remote is on the end table next to where I sit. It's 2020, stop using your crotch fruit as employees. Find yourself a guy who purposefully feeds his cows in the shape of a heart just to send to you. This some cute ass yeehaw shit, I can't lie. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. The best Reddit thread I've ever seen was when someone asked if the gang from Always Sunny in Philadelphia could kill Darth Maul, and almost all of the responses were over four paragraphs long. Best quote from that thread, 
To give the gang a slight advantage, we'll assume that Darth Maul has not seen any of the films in the Home Alone franchise. I just dumped a package of fruit snacks into my mask at work and am slowly eating them like a horse. I love the pandemic. I guess that's one reason to love it. So amazing how my parents found each other even though they were from opposite ends of the eyebrow spectrum. Mother of God, they really were, weren't they? Man, I forgot my mask when walking my dog just now and felt some brand new form of stress I didn't know existed until recently. I can't be going outside without my face pants anymore. It's indecent! Thank you, James Allen McCune. You are my favorite actor. Linguistic question from a non-native speaker. Why is it man in Virginia here, but Florida man in other news? Virginia is a place. Florida is a derogatory adjective. You hear that, Floridians? <laughs> Chewbacca is a guy, not a woman. How disturbing. This man sees a Lego ass of a fictional bipedal animal and his first thought is, bro, I'm not gay, what the fuck? Restroom with urinal. Restroom without urinal. Where's your god now, gender roles? I was actually at a cafe yesterday and their bathrooms were marked, whatever, just wash your frickin' hands. Last night I dreamed that scientists used a really bad picture of me to prove humans are closely related to goats and I was so insulted that I woke up. To goats? What do you look like? Then don't say goats, come on. A friend's grandma got COVID. She's recovered. How did she get COVID? She's been sneaking off to karaoke bars that are covertly operating illegally without COVID precautions. Illegal underground grandma karaoke bars. Am I disappointed? Amazed? Losing my mind? All of the above, so the answer is yes to everything. I spent $6,000 and over 40 hours building my 100% movie accurate Groot costume, and yet all the idiots in my office can't stop emailing about Shannon's dumbass toddler's bullshit baby Groot costume that honestly looks like a turd in a marshmallow. Stupid babies. Stamps foot. I do not want a gumbo recipe from the New York Times. I want a gumbo recipe from an old woman named Mama Thibodeau Landry who can bare knuckle box an alligator while reciting the Holy Rosary in Cajun French, all right? I fully agree with that. I don't want no New Yorker gumbo. I want the real thing, okay? Make it melt my brain. I'm having a lovely walk. Rex, I'm so sorry. That was me who honked at you just now. I was just excited to see you, but then you yelled at me and I remembered about men honking at women from cars. Oh, I'm sorry I told you to go f yourself. No, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry I honked. It was just a good Christian honk, okay? I don't mind mosquitoes sucking my blood. I've got plenty to go around. What annoys me is the need to inject the itch juice into my skin. Like, I'm already feeding you, why are you being such a bitch? Imagine if I slapped my mom every time she made me dinner. You don't do that? I don't give a crap if there's a microchip in the vaccine. They could put a whole iPod Nano inside me if it meant I was allowed to go get drunk at Olive Garden again. Hell, I'd put a Mac Pro in my stomach to go to the Cheesecake Factory, alright? Wife, why is there a charge for $3,000 to Men's Warehouse? Me, I have no idea. Don't go outside, though. Horse gets tailored three-piece suit and looks absolutely dashing. The flat cap seals the deal. Dress for the jockey you want, not for the jockey you have. How does one man manage to look like Bill Clinton and the Queen simultaneously? <laughs> With a lot of hard work, sweetie. Katie Lee did not win the pageant because she was a trilobite. Aw, don't worry about it, Katie. You're suspicious if you enjoy Bloody Marys. Keep your iced ketchup drinks far away from me. I agree with you, Harper. You're so right. I'm sorry, but the Norwegian butter crisis of 2011 just confuses my goddamn brain because how the actual hell does an entire country run out of butter? Did Norway just come downstairs like, uh, uh, whatever the hell that is? I was gonna explain how the butter crisis happened, but then I noticed your hilarious attempt at writing, we've run out of butter. I'm not sure if you know, but you basically just wrote, we drove out of the lubrication. How is that wrong, my good sir? Can you believe we used to go to work sick with no mask, riding shoulder on the subway, just raw dog in the air like that? Will I wear one every day forever? No, but I'll be wearing one a lot more in 2022 than I did in 2019. Maybe we should also stop this bullshit culture of forcing ourselves to go to work when we're sick. Yeah, I'm sick, I'm staying home. Oh, I'm out of sick days? I don't fucking care, I'm staying home because I'm sick. So you can deal with it. Half of college professors are like, you can know nothing about me except my name. And the other half are like, and that's why my wife left me. Anyway, what's up with y'all? There were two professors like this in my department, and I was one of like 20 people who was taught by both of them. So there was a very small gang of us who knew that Professor Brickwall and Professor Overshare were married with two kids. Makers of Grow Your Own Human Steaks say meal kit is not technically cannibalism. Grow your own human steaks. Do you think the top part of a mermaid also tastes like fish? Or that it would actually be red meat? 
Would there be a solid line where the meat changes in their body, or do you think it would blend? Could you make a surf and turf platter with one carcass? Man, I don't know, but I'm hungry now. Birds are just named stuff like hot-breasted milf and no one does anything about it. Well, can you come up with a better name for a bird that looks like it deserves to be called a hot-breasted milf? Think about it, Chris. My days are made up of Zoom meetings and playing dress-up. And your Bangladeshi workers' days are made up of starving and working 18-hour shifts for no money, you disgusting recycled glorified milk carton. This reopens the age-old Pokémon debate. Is it ethical to catch a Mr. Mime? Is Mr. Mime just a guy? Something about Ash's mom forcing Mr. Mime to sit on the floor and eat out of a dog bowl makes me uneasy. Mewtwo was right. Mr. Mime has a humiliation fetish, and Ash's mom totally doms him. Hey, uh, please don't type those words ever again. Thanks! Yo, Canada, quick question. Why your money see-through? So we can shine a laser pointer through the window and see the value amount projected afar as added protection from forgeries. Yo, USA, why the hell are we still using fragile scraps of linen like animals when we could have laser show dollars instead? Not to mention, I'm pretty sure they still smell like maple syrup. Joker is probably one of the movies ever made. Oh, it's definitely one of the movies ever made. Muppets have front-facing eyes and are therefore predators. I don't like to imagine Kermit stalking me in the woods. This is some old shit. <laughs> I can't believe deported veterans is an actual phrase. It shouldn't be. It really, really, really shouldn't be. But here we are. So fucking sad. We really devolved as a society when we stopped using fully painted pictures on romance novels and started using cheap Photoshop instead. Case in point. Aw, oh, what a downgrade. This is a hell of a downgrade. See, that's what I said. Worst crime capitalism ever committed was eliminating horny oil painter as a viable career option. Bitches be like, oopsies, and then blame it on their zodiac sign like, oh, sorry, I'm an asparagus. Watching Pawn Stars, and this guy came into the shop selling 50 rare Pez dispensers, and when they offered him $1,000, he stormed out with his dispensers, and in his parking lot interview, he called their offer a slap in the face to the Pez community. $1,000 for Pez dispensers? There's no way they offered him a grand for those, right? I would've given him like 12 bucks. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the, thank you, directions? Comics then, funny cat loves lasagna and hates Mondays. Comics now, pigeon experience is a microaggression. A single Sour Patch Kid would kill a pilgrim instantly. Oh my god, it would be way too much flavor for someone back in those days, dude. Hell, a McDonald's cheeseburger would probably give someone back then a heart attack. Not because it's unhealthy, but because, wow, it tastes! Someone in my Norwegian class didn't know the word for cowboys, so he called them American Horse Pirates, and I've been laughing about it for about an hour. I actually prefer that term to cowboys. Cowboys is boring and too vanilla. What the hell is LGBTQ+, is it like premium gay? No, 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 it's the new streaming service on the market. I love Lagomorphs because on one side you have sweet round boys, and on the other side you have feral wilderness prophets who've gone mad with the knowledge of the universe. Lanky though. My freshman roommate would leave the dorm at 2 in the morning and come back around 4. Thought she was chilling with a boy or something. Turns out, that's the prime time to watch raccoons at the pond near the- oh, for God's sake. Herders spraying reflective paint on their reindeer's antlers to avoid road accidents leads to absolute surreal and scary pictures. I see nothing scary about this majestic and delightful rave reindeer. This Senate hearing looks like the tale of a marooned lighthouse keeper and the robot butler he built to stave off loneliness. Those two are definite opposites to the spectrum. What is it about being a billionaire that makes you go absolutely whack-ass with how you present yourself? I mean, to be fair, Dorsey looks a lot more normal than the robot boy over there, but still. About five years ago, I worked in a restaurant and Ludacris came in, ordered spring rolls, and sent them back. When I apologized, he said, don't apologize, spring rolls are unpredictable. I think about this at least once a week to this day. I just noticed something. Astrum, star, Nata, sailor. Astronaut literally means star sailor. How cute is that? Neil Armstrong is Sailor Moon confirmed. Source, Butterfox. Whatever. I'm in a really bad media diversity class where the professor was trying to make a point to us about stereotypes. So he was like, when you think of Frankenstein, you probably think of a big green monster, right? And then when everyone in class was immediately like, no, it's the scientist, he pretended he didn't hear us. Millennial culture is knowing Frankenstein is the scientist. <laughs> Idiot teacher. My dad's newest girlfriend introduced herself as Cinnamon with an S, and I've been calling her Cinnamons all afternoon, and she absolutely will not correct me. 
guys, follow me for more stories about the seeking meat missile that is my dad. The global internet is being attacked by sharks, Google confirms. No headline will ever bring me as much joy as this. Wi-Fi goes out. Oh, those sharks again, I swear to God. Just had a child say, circumcise me, Captain. And his mom smacked him in the back of the head and said, I'm so sorry. I don't know where he heard that. I don't even know if he knows what that means. And I'm thinking about how kids are just walking shit post generators. <laughs> Shoot for the moon, stab for the stars, poison the sun, it's time to kill space. Space started it, let's finish it! Why are we still here, just to suffer? Every day I'm angry that a shrimp can see more colors than me, and will never understand what that's like, ever. Well, paint yourself yellow and move to Springfield because you're a f***ing simp, son! <laughs> oh, 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 that was good! Why is the divorce rate among socks so high? I don't know. Maybe check around in the nooks and crannies of your washer and dryer. They do tend to eat clothes, and they love socks the most. I grabbed this bullshit ass chorizo made of soy, and I thought it was saying, I am chorizo in Spanish. Ouch. I really need someone who understand me. Someone please eat my brain spaghetti. Women get to smell like real things, vanilla and lavender, but men have to smell like concepts. What the f is a cool sport rush? Introducing the all new Axe Sense. Black, ice, motor oil, dog. Dropping a sewing needle is like a cross between Where's Waldo and The Floor is Lava, except if you don't find Waldo, he's gonna stab ya! I always thought he was gonna do that anyway, have you seen that guy? With plastic being banned, Starbucks is running out of things to put drinks in. A year from now, they're gonna scream my name and I'll have to drink my caramelized latte straight from the barista's cupped hands while another employee strokes my head like a scared horse. Look, I'll do what I can to help lower my environmental impact, okay? If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Aladdin could have used a wish to end the monarchy that was preventing Jasmine from marrying him. Or he could have ended the systematic poverty that forced him to steal. But instead, he wished to be a fake prince of a fake land. He wished for big energy. My therapist. Holy sh dude. Do you remember how loud computers used to be? Like you'd put a floppy in there and it would just freaking scream at you like a pterodactyl eating a corn cob. I do remember. It was actually quite a calming sound, believe it or not. Today I learned NASA's plan to dispose of corpses in space is to freeze them in the airlock and then violently shake the body with a robotic arm until it turns to space dust. Hashtag bad astronauts get put in the corpse wiggler. What the actual hell. Florida man who allegedly threatened family with Coldplay lyrics and standoff after SWAT promises him pizza. I mean, that's totally fair though. They would have gotten the same deal if they offered him a Snickers, you know what I mean? Men's deodorant is superior. There. I I said it. I'd rather smell like icy fuckboy than lavender armpit sweat because women's deodorant doesn't last more than 15 minutes. I mean, ours doesn't either. You just get used to the smells you put on yourself every day. I drowned myself in Axe this morning. I can't smell it! Imagine being blind and masturbating to the sound of porn only to find out that it was just women's tennis. I don't think that's really a problem, dude. Say yes to masks and no to bras. Free to titty, protect the city! Is there anyone even named Sheldon in real life? My class turtle from sixth grade? That's a turtle. When God sings with his creations, will a turtle not be part of the choir? Wow, that's really making me think though. No PS5 today because the gaming PC I built leaves it in the dust. Y'all be like the vegans of gaming. You just won't shut the f*** up about your preference despite no one caring. That is a really long way to say didn't ask. Today a student emailed over a draft of his essay on 1984 and had clearly used a thesaurus on every single word. And how I know this is because the party slogan, Big Brother is watching you, had become enormous sibling is viewing you, and I laughed so hard that I cried. Elmo knows better than to question a man who just tore off half of his friend's head just to wear it as a hat. There's no place for weakness on the Sesame Street. A German man just came into the pub and tried to ask for cutlery, but ended up saying, I need some food weapons, and I will now be referring to them by nothing else. I'm so old, I remember when mainstream Republicans were basically reasonable people with differing views on economics and not a festering f tangle of seditious democracy-hating treason weasels. Well, lucky you, you got to see them when they were freaking normal. God. Leaving a watermelon on someone's doorstep in the middle of the night is a pretty inexpensive way to occupy a portion of their mind eh, forever. Be the inexplicable phenomena you wish to see in the world. It's just like that guy that had a TV on his head that would leave old CRTs on people's porches in his neighborhood for a little while. Be the phenomena you wish to see in the world. Simple as that, folks. And on that glorious note, we've come to the end of another video, ladies and gents. But before we get going, let's take a look at today's fan art, shall we? 
Here's some fan art I made. Hey, it's like a little ghost. It's like Casper the Friendly MK mascot. I love it. Always remember, if you even somewhat enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, well, then make sure to get yourself subscribed and click that bell icon. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.